What up, U.S. government? Some fucked up shit happened to me. After I recorded that last Vlasic video, I know it's been a while. There's a good reason for that. I got jumped. I got jumped by the Vlasic boys for making that rap. And you know I said pickles are serious? It's true. They got me. They said three out of five. Vlasic's five out of five every time. I said, I'm just trying to be honest. They weren't hearing it. And I said, well, can I make any more videos? And they said, we'll give you one more chance. If you throw some respect on Vlasic's name. And I said, I'll do my best, but I have an honest channel here. You know, I give honest ratings. So... What I did was I gave them the best chance in a head-to-head -head competition, okay? I got what seems to be the weirdest, nastiest pickle, and I'm going to pit it against Vlasic's best product. So it's gonna, today is going to be Vlasic versus these lightweights, okay? It can't be that good. Look at it. Look at the label. I got it at, on the bottom shelf at the supermarket. It was on the ground, dude, okay? You know they don't put good products straight up on the ground. Hopefully I've chosen an inferior enough product that Vlasic will come out on top. But I don't want to get jumped again. Uh, a little bit more about this. This is from Turkey. They have products all over the Middle East. One more thing. This, even the title of it's in Turkish. I looked it up online. Let's see how it sounds, how the Turkish people actually say it. And as you can see, it means flower. But I also discovered something a little disturbing earlier. When you click four more translations, not only does it mean flower and blossom and floral, it also means smallpox. They named this their company after... A, dis a terrible disease that killed millions, millions and millions. You know, the Turkish people aren't averse to killing millions. They committed genocide on the Armenians, even though they won't admit it, you know. So maybe that's why. Maybe they're kind of into things that could kill millions of people, you know, genocide. So let's, let's get a pop in, quite literally, hopefully. Let's see if this pops. Okay, so, so, so pop. Oh shit, it's got a nice complex smell to it. It smells like it's got a lot of different spices. See, in the Middle East, they take their spices very seriously. I right, let me try it out. So I guess first off, I'm going with what looks to be like a piece of cabbage. Let's go. Oh shit, sure. hmm, okay, got a little spice. Very good crunch. It's kind of like kimchi, how they're doing the cabbage. What's that taste like? Let me try out the, the cucumber. That's what we're really here for. Okay, nice cut on it. Nice bumps. Whoa. Tastes a little medicinal, but not in a totally bad way. I don't know what smallpox tastes like, but that could be what I'm tasting right there. Smallpox. Fuck, I might be in some trouble here, because Vlasic... Might be against some good ass competition here. All three things I just tasted the cabbage, the cucumber, and the carrot all taste exactly the same. All have the same consistency. So I think it doesn't really even matter which pieces you're eating here. Here's another, here's a mini pickle. I like the variety though, it makes it fun. It's got this like really subtle, weird sweetness flavor in it. I'm curious to see what the ingredients are. So the ingredients are water, cabbage, small cucumbers, carrots. Paprika. Yeah, that's what that is. Paprika all the way up there in the ingredients. Damn. Tomatoes. Oh, shit. I got to try some of these other ones, like, because they got garlic here, I think. I think that's tomato. Almond. Oh, shit. That's what, maybe that's what the sweetness was. Oh, damn. Vlasic, you got some competition because they really thought about it. They put some paprika in there. They put some almond in there. I don't know if I can necessarily taste the almond, but the paprika's there. 
I think. I forget what paprika tastes like, but I'm assuming that's what it tastes like. So after almond, it's salt. And then we got acetic acid and citric acid. Okay, so that's just vinegar and, you know, citric, citrus juice. Oh, and then we got a boy's calcium chloride and potassium sorbate. Always and forever. Shout outs to them. Hot pepper. That's that little bit of spice in the background. Garlic. Spices. So they even got some mystery spices in here. Damn, turkey. Damn. I pick off a, a product from the floor made in Turkey and this sh and they put work into this and it actually tastes pretty decent dude I'm surprised by this so Vlasic boys I'm sorry man I tried to give you like the worst one to go up against but this shit is pretty dang it's got this like soapy sweetness not ter in a terrible way oh and by soapy I, mean, I think I mean more like flowery yeah it tastes like perfumey a little bit it makes sense because they got the flowers it's called flower smallpox wow i'm really impressed by this shit man turkey stepping their game up okay so that's the challenger all right i've got something that surely cannot lose i brought a tank i brought an atomic bomb I brought an elephant. I brought a gargantuan challenger to the match. Drum roll, please. By far the largest jar of pickles that we have had on the show, maybe that I've ever seen in my life life look at this monster now we got the kosher dill this time not bread and butter whole pickles of course um we got the homie the stork yeah what else is there to say except that this is fucking ginormous my bro so don't even front and the other amazing thing is um the last vlasic pickles jar which was like probably less than half of this was like three something 375 or some shit. This is only 469. This is only a dollar more. So why would you not get this? Maybe the taste. Let's find out. Even before I eat this, let me just say right now, I am really terrified of getting jumped. Last time they broke my clavicle and they broke my anus. I'm going to try to be delicate. I'm, I'm not going to try to clown on them. But I'm going to have to really give you an honest review, Vlasic Boys. I ain't going to try to shade you like that. I'm not going to try to patronize you. But just chill. Please don't kill me. Let's see if the bigger the bottle, the bigger the pop. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, and it smells good. Standard pickle size. Got some good bumps on it. Got some definite bumps on it. External snap. Oh. Oh, it's raining juice down upon me. Not gonna lie, that was bad. There was really no snap. It was more of a splash. Hmm. Oh, shit. Yup. Yup. The crunch isn't that great, but the taste is there, dude. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a very good standard pickle classic. Do a pretty good job at this. It's better than your bread and butter. This is a good pickle to buy a big ass jar because these could go with anything. These could go with your sandwiches, these could go with your burgers, just eating them with some beer. I feel like this is like, this is what a classic pickle is supposed to be. This is how they got famous. You know, bread and butter is kind of out of their wheelhouse, I think. Like, classic is a classic pickle. A kosher dill is a classic pickle. This is probably how they got. This is how they got started. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. Or else, how could they be such a huge company? How could they have gangs out in the in the streets and like attacking people in the alleyways, breaking their clavicles? If they weren't good, like they got supporters, they got the funds, and they got the big ass jars, dude. Look at this fucking behemoth. It turned out to be way too good of a battle. I was hoping it would be a blowout. Yeah, boys, so I just started, 
I just pressed biggest jar of pickles ever on Google. And the first image that comes up is your boy. The, this exact thing, except even smaller. This one's smaller. Right? This is what I got. And then you see Mount Olive's got some, a pretty big jar, too. Let me see. That is 3.78 liters. Woo! It's 2.36 liters. So Mount Olive's got a pretty brolic one, too. A much more brolic one, actually. Let's take a look at this one. That's like a homemade big-ass jar of pickles. Um, but, dude, it looks like Vlasic is known for their big-ass jars of pickles. This is the one I have. We haven't seen this one before. Best made dill pickles. Um, oh, man, look at this lady. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. That's two and a third gallons of pickles. That's the biggest one we've seen so far. Holy shit. This dude got a big ass jar of pickles too. Oh man. Oh, dude, is this real? Is this real? No, that's not real. Get the fuck out of here. That's not real. That's not real. That's not real. But yeah, it's up there. It's definitely up there in one of the biggest jars of pickles on Google, at least. Let's get down to the ratings, man. I gotta say, uh, this one gave, gave me exactly what I wanted it to give. A solid pickle that explains why Vlasic is pretty much number one on the charts. Uh, cucumbers, water, distilled vinegar, salt, calcium chloride, sodium benzoate, and polysorbate 80 natural flavors yellow number five. It's weird. It's like almost the same exact thing except no, um, no sugar. From the last classic one. So as as a package deal with the size, the price, the taste on this, I gotta give this a pretty good rating, man. And I'm not even just saying that because I'm mad scared. Yeah, yeah, let me give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four. This guy really surprised me, dude. Turkey, you really came through. Holy shit. I bought this to eat it and throw up, but the, the paprika, the almond, the the spices and it tastes like flowers yeah come on man i was not expecting that it could work a little bit more on the the packaging and i think that's why it was put on the floor because it doesn't really catch your eye they did put in work into the flavoring man if it came down to it if i was at the store and they were like you could either get this or you could get this and by the way, this is only two two seventy nine, two point seven nine. So it's real good, pretty good bang for his buck too. I would probably still go with these these because these are versatile. You could put this in any any meal pretty much, and everyone's gonna be alright with those. This one, you kind of you kind of gotta be ready for like a little bit of complexity, a little bit of wait, what the fuck is that kind of shit? Like I don't know if you read, I don't know if y'all ready for these flower pickles. Give this a three. 3.9 and I'm gonna give this a four so at the end of the day Goliath beat David today all right and uh, Vlasic got some more respect on their name they regained some pride Vlasic boys I respect you as a gang please don't come at me no more you guys won so just chill okay just chill okay mm, mm, mm. Mr. K production Mr. K production yeah, I'm check, 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 check it out. It's a jar of pickles, but they taste like flowers. Doesn't look appealing, but the flavor is legit, man. It got me fucking feeling like a hater just a little bit, cuz I have to point out the label needs work. The Turks are my boys now, they get what they deserve. A pretty decent rating, man, a 3.9. The taste is complex, and they pickled all kinds of vegetables. And that's a pretty bold move. Delectable. These pickles holding up the truth. And even though the plastic pickles feed them in the end, you should probably try these, is what I recommend. Step your shit up, Chichek. Step your shit up, Vlasic. We need 5.0 pickles out here. It's not a game. It's not a joke. Stay marinated. Peace.